Hannah Abassi demonstrates a lively and informal approach to teaching digestion with her Mixed Ability Year 8 science class. AST Holly Power then provides analysis of Hannah's enthusiastic, hands-on approach. Hannah, come some space, please. Everyone's taking my space, right. So, let's get this together. What can help me chew that? Your end oh, right. right, we'll get this, OK? So, do that. Right, easy. easy. Stop there. So, that represents my what? Teeth. Initially, I was quite worried because I thought, oh, God, they're going to be disruptive. But they managed to come in and they were engaged in the demonstrations and, you know, they're giving back good verbal feedback. What do you think this could represent? Enzymes. Good. Saliva that's got what enzymes? Amylase, OK? In a way, it's better because instead of just, like, writing, when we don't really pay attention, and but when there's, like, there's something different, we pay more attention and we want to get involved. <laughs> and then I want to mix it up even more. Oh, oh, this is what happens though. I've got confidence now and I can just relax a bit because I know they're learning and I know I'm kind of doing the right thing. That's the poo! Why would this be the suggested that's poo. If anyone's poo's like that, you know what, seriously, that's <laughs> just, it's stretchy, isn't it? She's more happy than she used to be. <laughs> I think it's really insightful in this clip how we get to see what the students are thinking and how they comment very simply just that Miss is smiling more. The fact that the students and the teacher are enjoying themselves makes the whole learning process um, a lot more effective. I think it's really lovely how they're all kind of crowding around the, the middle desk rather than all spaced out nicely around the classroom at a desk. I think that can sometimes disengage them from the learning if they're a long way away and it's a lot more formal. Whereas this way, they're all kind of crowding around, arching their heads to see and wanting to see what's going on. It just kind of creates a, a sense of excitement. I really like the way that she's actually got some of the students to do some of the, the demo and they're actually mashing up the biscuits and getting them in, involved that way. Um, and if you just look around, you know, they're, they're laughing, they're smiling, she's smiling. I think it's, it's really effective how none of the, the things in the demo are labelled. Whenever I've done this before, I've always had a bottle labelled enzymes and the only been labelled teeth. And here, she's actually asking the students, what does this represent? What can I use to help me chew? What, what kind of enzyme's going to be in, in my saliva? And, and that's so important because that, in that way, rather than you just telling the students the information, they're getting it from themselves and they're answering the questions. And even when they're not sure straight away, she leads them to the right answer. And so they're providing her with the information rather than the other way around, which ultimately leads to a lot better progress. If anyone's poos like that, you know what, seriously, that's <laughs> it's stretchy, isn't it? She says that she was a bit nervous about whether they were going to be disruptive, um, but actually it wasn't a problem at all. And possibly in this sense, although it wasn't a formal learning setting, possibly more progress in learning did actually take place.